Hi guys, I want to introduce you to what is quite possibly the most useful tool available to us as breeders. The Leon Barger world is extremely lucky to have a near complete online interna international pedigree database, and that is the Worldwide Independent Leon Burger Database, or WILD for short. Um, I want to make you aware of a couple of things. First of all, WILD depends on the Leon Burger community for its continuation. Um, if dogs you have bred or owned are not found in the database, then please send their information to WILD at this contact email found right up here. Okay. So right here's the contact. You can email them with the information for your dogs that you currently own or have owned in the past or have bred if they're not found in the database at this time. Also consider supporting the database with a monetary donation. Um, this is completely nonprofit and it is free to use. It is owned and managed by Wilma and Ben Kroon in the Netherlands and they are assisted by uh, volunteers across the world. Uh, but again, it's nonprofit. So if you feel like this tool is useful for you, then on the search page, on the type right hand corner here, you have a donate button and you can choose to support the continuation of WILD. So let's start back over at the beginning. Um, just basic use. You can select the languages up here. You have uh, German, French, and English to choose from. The home page is in English. Um, you've got several tabs with lots of information on the database, and we're not going to go through each one of those. You can um, check them out on your own to some extent, but here on about, you have data collecting, our policy, and the use of the website. The use of the website gives you some helpful hints on how to search the website, how to create a trial pedigree, and how to find information on health of Leon Burgers, coefficient of inbreeding, mean kinship, um, and the health test results and how they are added. Um, the data collection tab tells you about how WILD came to be, where the information comes from, um, and Also the fact that because it is people that are entering and maintaining this database, then errors do occur. So if you happen to find an error that has to do with your dog or a dog of your breeding, please do let them know um, because it's important that we have this database as correct as possible. Um, this database does get used by researchers, okay? Um, it's used by research teams to explore pedigrees. And so it is, like I said, extremely important that it is as correct as it can possibly be. Okay. So again, there's lots more information than I just scanned through, but you can check the rest of it out on your own. So let's go to the search engine and we'll just talk about doing a basic search. Um, here on the search engine, it tells you how many Leon Burgers are in the database currently and when they last updated it. Generally, it's updated about once a week. So if you submit something through the contact here, you can expect to see it a week or so later. Okay, um, so most people are going to use the name search engine portion. I'm going to use one of my own dogs just so that because I know that I'm okay with that. Um, so there are several ways that you can search. And search engines can be sort of finicky, so you might have to play around a little bit with your searches um, to make sure that what you're looking for is found. So I'm going to start off, I'm just going to type part of the dog I'm searching for's name. And you see here that it says you can use the whole name, a partial name, but it has to be at least three characters. So I'm going to type in part and it's going to bring up all the Leon burgers that match that search. And there's 31 of them that do. So then I'll go down here and I will search for the dog I was looking for. And here she is. So I will click on her name. And I guess I should point out before I do so that um, immediately on your search, it's going to bring up the dogs that meet that search criteria. And it's going to give you some basic information about health, about her coefficient of inbreeding at 10 generations and her uh, mean kinship number. Okay. So 
that's helpful for a quick search. I'm going to click on her profile. Um, you can see that you've got basic information here. Okay, health information, test information that's available, how many offspring she has produced, her coefficient of inbreeding at 10 generations, and her coefficient of inbreeding at all generations, all the way back to the founders, uh, founding dogs of the breed. Okay, um, there is no contact information for breeders or owners because that's private. However, if that breeder or owner provided website information to the database, then it is posted here, which means you could follow that website and potentially find contact information there if you're trying to reach out to someone, the owner or breeder of this dog. Okay, so lots of stuff here. First of all, probably the most fun thing is that you've got a photographic family tree. Um, if the owners or breeders of the dogs in your dog's pedigree have turned in photos, then they're here, which is awesome. It's so cool to look at this. Okay, so first of all, if, if you don't have a photo of your dog on here, then you ought to consider sending one in because it's pretty neat to look at, okay, and helpful. So um, I'm not going to go into how to look at a pedigree because I'm going to assume that you've done some uh, um, knowledge gathering of your own and know what you're looking at. Um, but aside from photographs, you can also see that you have immediately um, – ability, you have the immediate ability to see health tests for the dogs in the pedigree. Okay, so that's cool. You've got different selections you can make here on number of uh, generations that you look at. Okay. Um, you also can create a pedigree that is easily printable. Instead of having all the photos, you can print this uh, printable pedigree here. You can look at a vertical pedigree, which is great. And what that shows you is, well, it takes a second for it to generate. I'm impatient. <laughs> so what the vertical pedigree shows you is um, the dogs in your dog's pedigree. It shows you their full siblings. And if they have health tests available, it will show you that as well, which is really helpful, especially for looking at um, health test results for traits that are considered polygenetic, okay, meaning it's uh, controlled by many genes. Therefore, being able to see the, the siblings' health test results can give you a better picture of the genes that are involved in hips, for example, for that particular dog. So um, it's great to look at a vertical pedigree, okay? Then you can also see the siblings for this particular dog. So at the top of the siblings page, you'll see the sire and dam information for this dog. And then you'll also see her siblings, which you can click on and go look at. And if they had health tests available, it would have that here as well. Okay. You can look at offspring. All right. So this particular bitch has been bred twice. You can see that the sire of both litters was this dog. Okay. You can see the information in the health test results for um, her offspring. Now, um, let's see. Yep. Yeah. So this is really great. Lots of information provided here, and this is just a basic look at the database. Um, if I wanted to look at a stud dog, I could look at them. I could see how many offspring they had sired. I could see each of the bitches that they had sired those offspring with um, and the health test results for each of those as well. So really useful to be able to search in these various ways on the database. Um, I'm going to stop here because, again, this is just an introductory first blush look at using the database. I'll make a couple of other short videos to walk you through some other little tidbits uh, that you might be interested in using. So, again, the database is, I think, in my opinion, the most helpful thing that we ha have available to us. Make sure that if you feel the same, you support them by sending the necessary information to keep this database relevant and up to date. You can send that information through this contact email here at the top of the home page. And also, if you feel like it's useful and you want to see it continued, then consider supporting it with a small donation by clicking the donate button 
um, in the top right corner of the search page. Um, thank you guys for listening and hope you have a good day.